After my research is done, I start on an outline of the story. And I knew with the book about Picasso that there wouldn't be a lot of people interested in how Cubism came about. So I had to add an extra element to the story where you can drink a magic potion and you can enter any famous painting you want and you can interact inside that painting as though it were a, a real world. This is like a first draft of my outline. Here's a scene that I wanted to tell. Here's another scene I wanted to tell. Here's another one and then another one. After I print out the script, and you can see here's the action in bold. Characters from the salon ride in a carriage pulled by two horses and driven by a very old man. I know I'll have to draw a couple of horses. Well, that's not going to work because one of these horses is getting their head cut off. So I'll just rough it in where the horses are going to go. Maybe I'll do a front shot with the, with the horses so they don't have to draw their whole bodies. Because it's nice to be economical when you're a cartoonist and not to draw too much. This is extreme roughs. <laughs> really roughs. Nobody but me could tell what's going on in these drawings. The next step I go to is drawing um, the thumbnails. And these are little, tiny, small drawings that aren't perfect drawings. They're not fully rendered. I don't spend a lot of time drawing these. Mm -hmm. I spend pretty, uh, I go pretty quick on these drawings so that I just get the basic idea down. And I know from the script that these characters are riding in a carriage and they're talking. So I'm going to have to show some of the carriage and I'm going to have to show some horses and I'm going to have to show a little bit of street in the background. So that's a lot of information to put in one. So I'm just going to sketch in their heads. I'll draw a basic framework for the carriage. And I'll draw the basic shapes of the characters. And I'm not worrying about getting them exact at all because that's not the point here. The point at this, at this stage is just to make it clear. And then I'll draw in some horses because they're being pulled by a carriage. You need to show at least a little bit of the horses. I'll show some straps for them. And look, I'm just using a really simple shape for the background, for the, for the windows. This is just so I know that there's gonna be a background, some buildings in the background. And I want to draw a couple little cobblestones because I remember they're they're always driving on cobblestones and they had cobblestone streets back then. Now I got to make sure that I have uh, enough room for m the text. That's for the lines of dialogue for the balloons. Real rough, just so I, I make sure I'm saving some space in the composition. And then this character is going to speak and then this character is going to speak. And then part two is I realize, oh, this is not going to work. This is a, a boring composition, or uh, I don't have, um, my main character is not featured prominently enough. So I would go in I'd, and I would erase it. You do a lot of erasing in the thumbnail stage. And maybe I just want to focus on the main characters. I just zoomed in. I just zoomed in. The main characters talking. In the background, I have this, the the, uh, the inferior characters or the characters that aren't as important. And then maybe I'll add a hand gesture. And you can see that the characters' most important actions are very clear. And then you look at the page as a whole. Okay, do I have um, enough variation in shots? I've got a long shot, I've got a close-up, I've got a mid-shot, and then I've got a mid-shot with a long shot. So yeah, that's a pretty good mix of, of shots right there. That's better than having close-up, 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 close-up or long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot. This is where you experiment with your, your composition. I have to start drawing and be, get really loose and play and, and uh, not feel inhibited.